All right, kids, it's time we had a little chat about money. Today we're gonna talk about how many fat stacks I have in my fat bank account. <laughs> So a while ago over on my Instagram, which is here, I asked you guys for video ideas and this video right here was one of the most highly requested. But at the time we were reaching the peak of, uh, of our friend Rona and it just didn't seem appropriate given how many people were having their jobs impacted by it. Thankfully now we're past the peak and many people are being able to return to work and so it felt like now was a much better time to talk about it. First things to get out of the way, Numero uno. This video is not being made to brag in any way, shape or form. The money that I actually made from this one video I'm gonna talk about was more than my entire earnings last year on YouTube. This is not an everyday occurrence for me, so <laughs> I just felt like given that it was such a, a large amount of money for me, it only seemed fair to explain how I made that money to the people that helped me make it. So, you guys. Uh, I asked you guys over on my Instagram, again, this bad boy here. Two mentions in the first two minutes of this video. <laughs> Do I seem desperate yet? Because I am very desperate. <laughs> Please follow me. So I asked you guys how much money you reckoned a four million view video would make. And um, it was obvious from, from the answers that you guys gave that th this kind of needs some more clarity. Because the range of different answers were between $400 and 50,000. So do we see why I'm making this video now? I also wanna say that I am gonna try and, and explain this as best I can, but I can't really go into too much detail about my personal analytics because I just found out it's against AdSense's terms of service. Um, so I'm gonna try my best. So if you fancy, you know, subscribing, giving this video a cheeky like, please do because I, I am risking it all for you here. Right, let's get down to the basics. YouTube sells ads and then those ads appear on YouTube videos. For every click on an ad, I make money via something called a CPM. Now a CPM stands for clicks per milli and it's the amount of money you make per thousand views from ads on YouTube. Most channels on YouTube have an average CPM of between two and five dollars, but this is largely dependent on a couple of things. The type of content you make and the location of your audience. In terms of content, some of my stuff is a bit more, uh, risque, shall we say. It's a bit taboo, isn't it? So because of that, I'm gonna have a much lower CPM than a family channel. Some channels on YouTube, like finance channels, can have CPMs as high as $50. $50 per thousand views. That is an absolutely ludicrous amount of money. Uh, so if you see me chat and smack about stocks in my next few videos, <laughs> Mind your business. Another thing that impacts your CPM is your location. CPM is higher and lower in certain countries because advertisers are willing to pay more to advertise to a certain audience. So a channel that has an audience that's largely based in the US is gonna make a lot more money than a channel that has an audience based in India, for example. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, T-Series. It's important to note that most channels have a CPM that kind of stays within the same range for most of their channel life, but some videos can make a lot more money than others depending on the topic that they're on. For example, the more niche the video, the more niche the audience, which means the more targeted an ad will be towards its appropriate audience, which means an ad that is selling a product that's for that niche market is gonna pay a lot more money to market on that video because they know that their conversion to sales will probably be higher. But that isn't so relevant to a channel's average CPM because most channels choose a topic and kind of stick to it. A final thing to note that massively impacts how much money a creator gets from a video is video length. Videos that are over 10 minutes on YouTube have the opportunity to put in multiple ads. Now most people know this, it isn't a secret, but what you might not know is that a creator who has a video under 10 minutes will make significantly less money because of that. We're talking they'll make maybe a quarter, maybe less of the money they would make if they push the video to 10 minutes. Now this is something that upsets me quite a lot when I look into a comment section of a video where someone is, you know, kind of knocking the creator for pushing their video to 10 minutes and two seconds. If you've put months and months of effort into a video and it only reaches nine minutes and 50 seconds, that is gutting because if you upload that as it is, you can only have one ad, I think, maybe two, because you can play one at the beginning and one at the end. And because of that, you're going to make maybe a fifth of what you would make if you added on those extra 10 seconds 
millions for the same amount of work. Not to mention that creators don't actually get 100% of the revenue they garner from their videos anyway which may surprise some of you, but YouTube actually take 45% of all of the revenue that a creator earns from advertising on their channel. So when you think about it, <laughs> pushing a video to 10 minutes, you know, it doesn't seem so bad now when you realize that they essentially losing half the revenue. <laughs> So now I've given you all that information on how people make money on YouTube, I wanna go specifically into this one video. Now this is where we enter the risk zone, the my channel might be suspended if I show the wrong thing zone. Uh, so, so let's give this a go. So from this hair video, uh, I gained 4.2 million views. But there's another catch. Not all 4.2 million viewers will have seen an ad on this video. Now there are various reasons for this. For example, they might have had ad block on, they were in a territory that didn't have advertisers. Maybe they'd just seen a lot of ads already that day and YouTube just didn't want to show them another one. So whilst this video has 4.2 million views, I didn't earn money on all of that. Now when I looked into my analytics, it showed me that only 3 million people saw an ad on this video when they watched it. Now we say only, uh, not because this isn't a massively high number, but because it means that a quarter of the people who saw this video never saw a single ad on it. And I feel like that's quite significant because it shows you that just looking at a YouTuber's views is not reliable enough in terms to be able to work out exactly how much they make. Views do not always directly translate into money. But from the 3 million people that saw an ad on this video, I made, 10,173 dollars. That is a shit ton of money. This was such a huge amount of money to me because it was more money from one video than I made in the entire year of making videos last year. So I hope this really shows to you just how much of, of a, of a life-changing amount of money this was for me. I'm very, very grateful and fortunate to have been able to earn that amount of money. I'm incredibly grateful for everyone who, who watched that video. Uh, I'm even more grateful for everyone who clicked on one of the ads. <laughs> but this was a significant amount of money for me and because of that I have been able to massively increase my charitable giving as well as start saving for things that I've really really wanted for a long time. So thank you so much. <laughs> Speaking of charity and, uh, and wonderful causes, in the pinned comment you will find some amazing causes that if you can and you're in a position to, it would be amazing if you could donate and support some of the great work they do. If you cannot donate, don't worry. I have also linked a bunch of petitions that your signature would mean a lot on. Petitions are an amazing way to help inspire change if you don't have another way to contribute to the cause. So sign the petition, share it around, the more signatures the better, and you can help bring about change with only your name. And that's pretty fucking cool, if you ask me. <laughs> I'm also sorry that at some point my face became reminiscent of Casper the Ghost, but my neighbour decided to open their window and it's just glaring directly into my eye sockets. I now have no corneas. Thank you to everyone who, who watched that video. I'm incredibly grateful. Thank you to everyone who watched this video. Uh, if you haven't subscribed already, may I ask why? <laughs> Is there anything I could do to convince you to subscribe? I now have the money to bribe you, if that's what it takes. <laughs> Pretty sure that's probably against YouTube terms of service, but there we are. <laughs> oh, there are some kids jumping into the Mersey. That sounds like a recipe for disaster, if I'm honest. Don't do it. Don't jump. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't, don't do it. Oh, he did it. He did it. If you like this video, give it a cheeky little thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give it the thumbs down. It's a free world. You do you, boo. Have a lovely day wherever you are, and I'll see you next week with another video. Kisses to your mother. I can't feel my face, no. Thinking on a Sunday. I can't feel my face, no. Thinking on a Sunday. Sunday, I can't.